Okay, race fans, I hope you're strapped in for this one. Today, we're taking a dive into the world of rally racing with the one and only Hot Wheels Legends Diorama. Now, some of you may be thinking to yourself, it's Hot Wheels, they only make toys, and at the end of the day, I guess they are, but these sets are a little bit more than that. It's a collectible set that really captures the essence of rally racing. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this set here. I'll give you my initial impressions. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. When I first heard that they were going to be doing this rally racing set, I was really excited until I saw the castings they were going to use. And then I was a little bit disappointed. Not that I have anything against these castings or these cars. I was just hoping for a more modern take. Maybe a set with a WRX, Lancer Evo, some cars like that. But as I got to thinking about it and looking into these cars a little bit more, this is the heart of rally racing right here. And while a lot of people may not know these cars or these castings other than just seeing them in passing, maybe seeing them in some Hot Wheels castings. These were some legends in their own times, and really, you know, I think all of these were actually Group B cars, which was single-handedly one of the most entertaining and most dangerous groups of race cars there were at the time. That in and of itself is enough reason for all of these castings to be here. I will say they are all really well detailed and nicely done, but what I love about this set is the cohesiveness. They all look like they belong together in this set, and it absolutely looks like it could be the staging area for a rally race. So let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these entries. So we're going to go through these in the order they have them listed on the box, starting with this MG Metro 64R. Really just a classic rally car here, known for its agility and speed. This is a fairly new casting to Hot Wheels, but I think they've done a great job of capturing the design. Just kind of the small stature with the boxiness. It's really aggressive body kit. Just a super nice casting overall. We have the accurate right-hand drive, and actually the interior is fairly detailed in this one as well. It's kind of hard to see on camera with the windows, but, you know, I guess there's not a lot to it, but what they do have in there is really nice. Have the roll cage in the back. As you can see, it's kind of a generic livery. We do have a few sponsorship badgings with the Shell logo here and Bill Steen. Other than that, it's fairly clean, but I think they've done a nice job here. As you can tell, there's a lot of details all around. I won't take the time to go into all of them. You can kind of see them for yourself here. But just a really well done casting overall. Pretty nice wheel choice there as well. Up next, we have the Lancia Delta Integrale. Again, just another excellent casting. Love the fact that they went with a little bit different livery on this and a different color scheme. I think it fits this car perfectly. Overall, this is just a super clean casting. Love the wheel choice here. I think it absolutely adds to that. And I really like the detail with the way they did the headlights on this car. Again, the livery is just a little bit generic on this one. We have the Lancia Racing badging, Bill Steen and Shell logos with the addition of Brembo on this one. Again, I think they captured the essence of the car really well here. Just kind of a Group B legend. Not a whole lot else to say about this one. Uh, the details are a little bit less on the casting itself, but what they did, I think they did really well here. Hot Wheels Rally Hauler. This one isn't actually a licensed casting. It's kind of a generic van that Hot Wheels made. I believe it debuted in the Team Transport line. If you're not familiar with that and you like the set we're looking at today, be sure to check that out. There's a long line of race car castings there, each with their own matching transport truck. But this one's just kind of an amalgamation of different brands of vans or maybe even like a custom hauler. Definitely lends itself well to sets like this where you have different manufacturers all in one set. Livery, simple and clean. Again, of course, we have a few more sponsorship decals here. Have the Hot Wheels logo, and again, we have the Shell, Brembo, and Bilstein. This does have a hitch, so you can hook the trailer up to it, and each one of these cars will fit on the trailer, so if you want to take these out of the set and display them in a different manner, you can do that if you want to. The last casting we're going to look at is the Ford RS2000. This is one of my favorite castings from when I was a kid. Now, this one's been updated a little bit, but I think they've done a great job with it. I love the two-tone wheels. I think it fits the style of the car and the livery very well. Simple and clean, once again, we have the Ford badging, Bill Steen and Shell logos. I think they've done an excellent job with the details on the headlights and the fog lamps here. You know, again, not a whole lot of detail, but once again, what they've done, they've done really well. I will say the colors that they've used on this car makes it look just a little bit more cartoonish than the other ones. That's not a dig on this casting so much as to say that they did an excellent job with the livery on these other castings. But overall, this is definitely a solid addition to the set, and I think it helps round out the diorama as a whole. 
So again, what I really like about this set is the cohesiveness. All these cars definitely look like they belong together. And this does look like it could be the staging area for a rally race. Hot Wheels usually does a pretty good job of mating these cars up together. Although I'll say the last set was the track day set and it kind of suffered from probably a little bit too much variety. So if you want to do something other than display these cars, they are all toys at the end of the day. They're Hot Wheels, they're high quality, they're really well made. They all roll around. You can hitch the trailer to the van and all the cars will actually fit on the trailer. So you have a lot of options as far as what you want to do with it. If you want to display it in different ways or just take it out and play with it. Hot Wheels is high quality and I think that these will last you for years to come no matter what you do. So let's talk about who this set is for. I think if you like rally racing, this is a very nice collectible. If you're into Hot Wheels, you're probably already familiar with this set and you're either going to pick it up because you like the castings or leave it because you don't. I will say that this is a Walmart exclusive set so if you don't have a Walmart around you your best bet is going to be to try to go on Mattel Creations website probably. Uh, if you can't find it on there then you're going to have to get it off of eBay. That's really usually your only options with these diorama sets. They typically start out at around $27 which isn't a bad deal. That's basically the same price as four carded premium cars. So, you know, a lot of people will think that's a good deal. Other people won't. I would personally like for them to be a few dollars cheaper, but at the end of the day, I think if you like all these castings or you like the set, it's definitely worth the price you pay. You know, $30 basically for a set of four premium cars that's a nice collectible display. I don't think that's a bad price at all. So overall, if you're looking for a really nice rally racing collectible, either for yourself or maybe a gift for somebody else, we do have the holiday season come up, so keep that in mind. Or if you're just looking for a nice set of rally racing toys, I think this diorama set is for you. So if you enjoyed checking out this set, YouTube should be showing you another video up here they think you might like. Be sure to check that out. And if you haven't yet, please consider helping us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button. And be sure to stay tuned for more content.